Namaste friends, welcome to Learn Nature, Empowered by Magic Nidu. This day, I am here with a beautiful pattern titled Daisy Wheel Square. Because of this daisy wheel in the center, this particular square gets its name. And uh, this is worked over 5 rounds now for this particular swatch. And you can uh, work many more rounds by repeating the rounds for 4. And only thing, your chains will increase in the center. And uh, even there, you can place the stitches that you like to make it more decorative. So, sky is the limit for your imagination to place the stitches over there and go ahead with the work. Okay, so without wasting much time, let's go into the video and go about how to make this particular daisy wheel square. Chain 8. Slip stitch to the first chain and join to form a ring and into the ring place 12 single crochets. Chain 1, chain 1 does not count. Place 12 single crochets. I shall make 12 single crochets and get back. I have made 12 single crochets. Now slip stitch to the first single crochet and join. Uh, make chain 4 plus 2, 6 chains if you want to make the treble as a chain 4. Otherwise, pull up the loop to the height of a treble. Twist, insert in the same stitch. Pick up the yarn and pull through. Pick the yarn, pull through the loop and behind this, again yarn over, pull through the first loop and behind the loop on the hook and make. This is a standing treble. I will make it again. Pull up to the height of a treble. Usually we twist it twice and hold and then uh, go about the work. So insert, pick up the yarn. It's a little tricky but it functions very well. Then it looks good. Again, pick up and take it behind. You'll have two loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through all two. So this looks like a treble. Now chain two. Yarn over twice. Place a, a treble in the next single crochet. So chain two, treble, chain two, treble in each of the single crochets. So you should have 12 trebles and 12 chain 2 spaces at the end of this round. Complete it. I shall also complete and get back. Come to the end of the round here. Now we have to have chain 2 here. So chain 1 and then make a single crochet in the very first double crochet. So that we bring the first treble crochet. So that we bring the yarn to the center of this chain 2 space. And then place a standing double crochet inside this chain chain to space let us make the first half corner three doubles so one half corner is done chain two single crochet in the next chain to space chain two single crochet in the next chain to space chain two make the corner three doubles chain two three doubles So this corner is done, chain 2, single in the next chain 2 space, chain 2, single in next chain 2 space, chain 2, corner. So continue the stitch pattern on the other sides also and complete this round. I shall also complete and get back. I will come to the end of the round here. I need to place the other half corner. So I have chained already two to go over to the corner. Three doubles. Three 
now instead of chain 2 and joining here let me make a half double and bring the yarn to the corner of the chain space here so that we will begin the entire corner at one go and go ahead because the next next round is going to be a single crochet round we can begin from anywhere for that particular round so now having done this make a double crochet standing double crochet or chain 3 place two more double crochets i'm going to complete the entire corner three double crochet chain two three double crochet we need to remember all the stitch counts we can begin the stitches from any point that we are comfortable with there is no set rule that you have to do it in this particular stitch alone that demands only in uh, certain specific projects okay having done that chain two place a single crochet in the chain two space chain two single crochet in the next chain two space chain two single crochet in the chain two space chain two and go and work the corner 3 dc chain to 3 dc and continue the side in the same manner as we did for the first side so continue to place the stitches on all the other three sides and get back i should also complete and get back i'll come to the end of the round here i'll chain two now slip stitch to the very first dc that we made now this next round it's a single crochet round we are going to place single one single crochet in each of the stitches and two singles in the chain two spaces and in the corner we are going to make three single crochets okay so this is the this is where i'm going to begin so chain one and place a single crochet in the same stitch where we slip stitch one single in each of the next two double crochets and we come to the corner place three single crochets Then one single crochet in each of the stitches and two single crochets and the chain two spaces. So may place the stitches. I shall meet you at the end of this corner, end of this row here, this side. I have completed one corner and one side here. Again, I have reached the corner. In the corner, place three single crochets. Then one single crochet each on each of the next three double crochets, two single crochets and a chain two space one single crochet on this single crochet two singles and chain two one single on single two singles and chain chain two one single on single two singles here again one single each on each of the next three dcs here so continue the stitch pattern for the other three sides also and i shall meet you at the end of this round where i placed my first stitch i have placed my last stitch here and I'll, I'll cut the yarn and fasten off and slip stitch and fasten off so cut the yarn so i'll take i'm going to do the invisible join here pull through and from the first stitch from behind pull the yarn here we go <coughs> excuse me this is daisy wheel square because we are using the daisy wheel in the center it is titled as daisy wheel square here we go hope you like this small pattern and this can be made to any size we need to repeat these rows and in between you can place uh, other flowery designs also like your puff stitches or your uh, popcorns whatever you want you can incorporate them in between on the sides too okay it's a, it, you, your imagination is to play the fun in your pattern okay thank you friends for watching this video i shall be back with yet another pattern in the next video but before that a request from our side please do subscribe to magic needles channel and do not forget to click on the bell icon so that you are notified of the videos that we upload every other day further i request you to like and share our videos too 
thank you friends have a great day i shall be back again